I have the pleasure of welcoming the Honorable Minister of Energy, Mines and Environment for Morocco. Minister, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for being part of our Be Bold campaign and your leadership in championing sustainable energy. Morocco is setting the standard for the region and the world through its commitment to renewable energy and specifically Morocco's goal to achieve 52% renewable energy by 2030. I also want to recognize Morocco's role in co-leading the Coalition on Sustainable Energy Access that seeks to ensure 100% access to energy in the least developed and other developing countries by 2030. Morocco, we are, I'm sorry, Minister, we are honored that Morocco has been chosen to be a global champion for the theme of innovation and technology. And I'd like to say from my background in Nigeria, I had a lot of support for Mazen in developing a lot of our renewable policies. So I've, uh, we've been friends with Morocco for, for a long time. Um, I think my first question, Honorable Minister, is with Morocco's leadership role and commitment to the energy transition and sustainable energy, can you explain how you plan to achieve the bold targets you have set yourself and specifically the role of innovation and technology? Over to you, Honorable Minister. Thank you so much, Madam. I think that today uh, th there is no way back. There is no, uh, no way back but to engage into this uh, worldwide transition into what is uh, green and what is sustainable development. So the, uh, the destiny, our destiny is to uh, uh, reconsider again uh, our industries, our economies, our uh, way of uh, looking at things. Uh, to see how we can consider our transportation even today we are living into a very intense world linked to uh, climate change and one of the these things come from um, from the uh, transportation from the energy so the transition should be uh, uh, primordial and should be quick and swift so here I could use uh, uh, words that are taken from his Secretary General of the UN. Uh, if we don't do that, we will be uh, uh, facing a catastrophe, a genocide. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, and the um, the big uh, the leading world, uh, leading countries are, uh, mm, are taking this as majority. So we're not just. Uh, influential in terms of climate change. We are committed uh, uh, and we are impacted by the uh, climate change and we are committed uh, to the uh, international uh, decisions. Our country from a long uh, time has taken the cleanest and the safest uh, choice uh, that is respecting uh, nature, that is respecting humanity. Uh, with regard to the diversity, forests, water, literal. Uh, uh, so this is just reinforced in a much uh, higher way. So the energy, uh, we have uh, succeeded many things in the energy transition. And we, I could say that uh, we can, we could reach 52% uh, you spoke about, we could, I could, I could tell you but that we can reach that 52% before 2030. So these programs can be reached before uh, 2030, God willing, especially uh, uh, with the new programs that, that, that we have, the new program to have launched, which is, will be an electrical uh, program 2020, 2021, 2030. We have programmed, uh, uh, scheduled many uh, programs and many roadmaps that are important and that are influential, especially uh, during uh, all the hydrogen, the biomass, uh, maritime energy, and so on. So uh, I could tell that uh, uh, we, uh, all the other countries should benefit from this transition now, energy transition. There is a competition, a dog a dog competition between these countries. So there is now the, uh, uh, the competition on uh, battery, uh, on, on solar grid, on Namo, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and 
um, technologies, new technologies. So we have started to uh, speak about the turbines. The uh, we have a uh, uh, smart grid, uh, smart grid, the uh, smart uh, uh, grid. So now there is a competition between countries, and I think that the countries that will succeed in the uh, in the future not only will be just buying these uh, meters or these equipments and to produce this electricity, but these also these uh, countries that will uh, use and. Uh, uh, energies, clean energy that will have this part of this technology that can be uh, 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 used and produced in its country. So, the Morocco, if, if I want to just give you a wrap up of what the government uh, uh, work, well, I can speak about uh, this as a package. It will be producing uh, electricity from renewable energy, generalizing the clean energy in the industries, uh, in the industry, agriculture, uh, mining, and so on, and then in the social uh, and even mosques now there is uh, there is a renewable energy uh, program uh, in, in in mosques uh, uh, now we have so uh, generalizing this uh, using this and uh, producing and encouraging people to use these renewable energies self-production so there is also a self-production of, of, of electricity and it's uh, in its last stages. So, so we have to uh, polarize, of course, industries and technologies in our country. And we have to link it and allow me to tell you, madam, I'm with the UN. How can we uh, link the mining system with the new uh, technology? If Africa uh, is uh, is rich in mining and, and these mine, these uh, minerals and mines are important to industry 4.0. So we, so we uh, move to a negotiation with the big, uh, big uh, country, uh, the big companies to come to our uh, countries and to link uh, uh, this uh, natu these natural resources with the electricity. So we have prepared that there is uh, valuable uh, uh, mines. Uh, so we have to uh, concentrate on R&D and, uh, uh, and technology. And I think that this should be within the uh, thinking scheme of the decision makers. And we should create added value in the uh, country. So therefore, if we uh, take this uh, and import, export it to other countries with uh, added value, uh, it would not be a good idea. So I think if we want, if we want just to wrap up the uh, next generation it's to generalize these renewable energies in the industries and society so the new era is the industrialization of renewable energies and of course development of r d and uh, the development of innovation and uh, we have uh, uh, of course many uh, things and we have uh, uh, partnerships and we have to uh, of course to have uh, uh, hydrogen and we have to do it so therefore and uh, the potential is there so uh, uh, we should be among the uh, that so it should be uh, the main base among uh, hydrogen in the world so therefore uh, Madam, we are at your disposal with the UN, uh, with the, with the uh, African Union, and uh, we want to develop that uh, to have uh, this. So, therefore, we should not uh, we need inclusive development for energy. So, I think that this is the uh, development that we are working on, and this is uh, this is something we can uh, speak about. And we have mentioned Nigeria, and uh, uh, I think that we have with Nigeria many. Uh, uh, we have the gas, natural gas pipe, and we have uh, fertilization. Uh, and we have got in from out of the uh, trade 
الى شراكه استراتيجيه into a strategic strategic model and this is a model that we give to the world Morocco is having a lot of phosphates who want to create a joint venture joint venture to have an added value and to share and to uh, share this uh, benefit. So this is the model that we have started with Nigeria, and that we have done with uh, uh, Asia. So this is this is a, a Moroccan, uh, a Moroccan uh, thing. So therefore, we are at your uh, disposal. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. I, I, I think there are like a few things I had to take from the conversation. The need for localization, being able to mine locally and produce these things with the with the span of R&D and the way you're also investing in technology at the same time you're investing in renewables. Collaborations with other countries, the joint ventures you have with my country, Nigeria, in terms of also showing your knowledge and, and, and helping the rest of Africa to achieve its potential um, through Morocco's um, lead leadership and and then you know um finally the fact that it's a whole of government effort for morocco you know there's there's a political will to make sure this works and make sure this works even before 2030 um and really be the 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 showcase for best practice for the rest of the continent and also the world so on that note thank you so much honorable minister i look forward to seeing you at the high level dialogue ministerials at the end of june you just allow me, madam, there is a small thing I should uh, tell you. Uh, so the uh, so the uh, success of tran energy transition, or uh, let me say sustainable, sustainable transition, simple transition in general. So this is something that uh, should uh, have So uh, there, there should be uh, uh, supervision from the higher authorities. So, so this, uh, so His Majesty is paying a lot of uh, attention, um, uh, given his royal care, to the uh, successes of uh, of uh, development of this uh, program. So therefore, the uh, so everyone should uh, support. Uh, 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 and embrace these uh, orientations. So second thing is that we have to have uh, the business climate, the business climate should be uh, good. So so we have around 50 uh, big uh, uh, companies from uh, abroad uh, uh, because it has uh, found a good business climate. So we are reviewing, uh, uh, we're doing business, we were 110 and we're now in 53, and we should be among the 50, the, the, the 50 top 50. So uh, uh, we, we should uh, encourage joint venture to, uh, to uh, share this success. If we have done this, we have, uh, there is uh, a dire a need uh, the, and this that need is an opportunity to Africa to choose the best technologies, the best solutions on just on, not on the high technology, but the, but the appropriate solution, the appropriate solution. So sometimes we we don't need the high technology; we need the appropriate technology. So therefore, this is an opportunity to choose the appropriate technology and the and an opportunity to create a joint venture to create and to move to the uh, transitions now. 600 million uh, Africans don't uh, uh, don't use uh, um, uh, electricity. So the uh, mini grid and high grid should use this in the next 10 years. So my uh, mission statement is to encourage uh, to develop the best practices to create a joint venture and to create uh, a business climate, which is very, uh, uh, very encouraging. And to, uh, and to to have in our technology this technology in our uh, countries and to develop uh, uh, R&D and I'm inviting you, Madam, to uh, to uh, to move uh, to, to 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 work on that R&D and to see that we have done a big, uh, big work and good work. Uh, 
when we have uh, lots of things, lots of universities working in this regard, and Erizen is doing a very good work, and they can give you uh, uh, further details, and I can, I will ask them to uh, ask to prepare a video, an institutional video in many languages, and we are uh, will be more than happy to 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 deal with you, to collaborate with you, to create more uh, uh, value. Well, that is fantastic, and thank you so much for the offer. Okay, thank you so much for the offer, um, Honorable Minister. I'll definitely take it up. I have been to Morocco. I've been to Wazazet, which is just amazing. I look forward to coming back again um, to see some of the research institutes as far as the fact that you're global champions. I think you, you struck on two very key points. One, political will right from the head right from his majesty that this is something that we you know that you really have to focus on and like you said again key collaborations and making sure Morocco is a destination where ease of doing business is easier so companies can come in they can work and they can thrive so again honorable minister it's always a pleasure to speak to you i look forward to seeing you again in june and i look forward to coming to morocco at some point in person before the high level dialogue thank you so much honorable minister